Hey, Pastor Steve Waldron, I hope you're having a great day in Jesus. Two classic Bibles, one put out by Oxford, a.k.a. Allen, one put out by Cambridge. Cambridge Concord Bible. A lot of people consider it just like the best Bible you can get. And this is the Oxford Ruby Reference 112. And I'm showing them today basically because they're both kind of smaller Bibles. Now, some people would argue with me that the Cambridge is not smaller, but it actually is. When you compare it to most Bibles out there, for everything you get in it, it is smaller. So we're just going to do just a quick comparison, some of the rundowns. Um, let me just make sure. I think this Allen is, in fact, goatskin. I want to double check. The reason I did, I got kind of, I do several videos in a row, and I'm feeling, I'm like, boy, it just doesn't feel like goatskin. I mean, it has no suppleness or anything in it at all. But it is goat. I mean, it says goatskin. It is art gilt edging, which is gold over salmon red. I'm going to show you what the Cambridge looks like. Now, believe it or not, this Allen Ruby 112, first of all, it's going to be quite a bit cheaper, usually, than a Cambridge Concord Goatskin, even though I have been seeing these. There have been two or three companies uh, putting these on new for like 119 on eBay. I don't know if they're still there, but it's like they've been doing it on a regular basis. That's cheap. All right. But like their goat skin is supple. You can do that. This just feels like a great Bible. It just feels like an unbelievable Bible. I'm going to try to get you where you can look at the red letter. The Allens, of course, no longer come in red letter. So I say you can get the Concord is more expensive that you can get the the Allen 112 Ruby, but really, I don't think so. Now what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to put it like this, and hopefully you can get a real good comparison of the print size. I appreciate Brother Mallory zooming in and out there. We've got Sister Fran doing more of the uploading. And so, they're both readable for the size. I mean, the the Cambridge just reads so well. And it's, it's just so fantastic. But for this small of a Bible, usually I can't read a Bible this small, but I can this. And yet I say unto you that even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. Wherefore, if God so clothed the grass of the field, today is. And even the center column reference the center column, even though it's really crowded in the ruby, the print looks bigger than the center column in the Cambridge Concord. Another strange anomaly is the margins. I'm going to just double check on this. Look slightly bigger in the ruby. I do like the fact it has. So that's point three at the top. It has the dating system chronology. See, it's a half an inch margin at the bottom. Uh, see, it looks like three tenths of an inch on the side. So that may be it. And even the gutter, you have room to write in the gutter. So, I mean, that's pretty amazing. These are printed by young blood in the Netherlands. We'll let you look and see the print size of like the concordance. The Cambridge Concord is going to have quite the concordance in there as well. It's not going to be the concordance that you that's in a line. It's kind of all jumbled together. I've gone back and forth over my life on whether I like that or not. I'm currently and I don't like it. And it's going to have just the nice little Oxford maps. They're kind of famous, these Oxford maps.
and the Cambridge gonna have I'm gonna have to turn the Cambridge like this so many of their maps are like this a little different I like the understated uh, Oxford maps a lot so at the end of the day I mean you're gonna get a concordance you're gonna get center column reference you're gonna have decent print in the center column reference in the Ruby it's not going to be a supple. It's got two ribbon markers, great ribbon markers. This has two ribbon markers as well. If you need something and your eyes are good enough, the Allen Ruby, in my opinion, is one of the best deals on the Bible market today. I mean, it's just small. It's, it's uh, six and a half by 4.75. I mean, you can see it is just small. And as far as quality, it's probably going to be equal quality. As far as just readability, the uh, Cambridge, the Bible text itself is going to be more readable. They're probably going to be equal in quality. I like the headband of the Allen better. Uh, some would say that the Allen may be even better quality. They're probably in their finest editions, both are going to be printed in Youngblood. Let me see if I can see uh, Cambridge, and don't pull this page apart. That's a spine stabilization page, by the way. Um, they print theirs in different places. So, yeah, printed and bound in the Netherlands. This typeset in 8, 9 times semi-bold 421, which is just a fantastic. Uh, this also has the translators to the reader in it, which is good. What, Miles Smith? This does not. Let's see if it has the epistle dedicatory. Yeah, which I like that too. Has the little license to print. Uh, that's always printed in Netherlands on acid-free paper by Royal Youngblood. Um, you know, this just, look at that. Oh, it just feels so good just to sit and pray and read it. You know, we need to be praying the Bible like we never have before. This has got a Bible dictionary concordance in there. It's just great. But if you can read this print, this is probably one of the best Bible deals in the world right now. Because I think you can get this for like $85. Um, it's just not supple. And it's smaller print. But if you need a small Bible, this would be good. I don't think it will quite fit in like a jacket pocket if you're making hospital calls or that kind of thing. If you like red letter, of course, this comes in red or not red letter. Uh, you know, I really like the Ruby. And I'm probably in the minority. I know the Ruby doesn't sell real well for them. But I like the Ruby. The Concord, again, like if you go to evangelicalbibles.com, they're going to say the Concord is uh, maybe the perfect combination of readable print, a lot of references, stuff like that. I would tend to agree with that. It's hard to argue with that. Um, both come in boxes. This is clamshell. This is the iconic Oxford, a.k.a. Allen, dark blue box. Very understated. Cambridge, a little more splashy. Man, all I can say is read your Bible. Where your treasure is, there your heart be also. God bless. I'll talk with you later in Jesus' name.